Hey yo, what's up? My name is Dan Tanner of Tanner Does Tech and man, on this video right here, I'm going to be showing you what's on my Mac. I'm going to show you the wallpaper, apps and all that. Yes sir, yes sir. Now usually I do what's on my phone videos. Hell, I'm still going to do those, but this time I wanted to do something different because I know a lot of people out there who have Mac computers and probably looking for some of the apps that I use every day. So enough of me yapping. It's time to make it happen. Let's go. Well, all right. Here we are at the desktop of my Mac. Let's start with the wallpaper first. You see it right there. I'm trying to impress you, you know that. I know it. That beautiful picture of that Lamborghini Urus truck. Bang, 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 bang. Man, oh man, oh man. Saucery at its best. I got that from www.lambocars.com. They got a whole bunch of pictures of Lamborghinis and everything that you'll like, especially if you're into Lambos like I am. Now let's get to the drive setup and everything. My internal drive up here where it says Tanner Drive, the storage on it, 500 gigs. It's an SSD and it's super, super fast. No problems at all. Now my first external drive right here where it says Dan Tanner Music is a Western Digital Passport. The storage on that, one terabyte. Very, very portable, very, very reliable, and one terabyte of storage on deck. Now the second one right here that says Heat Up 3 Ultimate Edition, that's exactly what it is. Initial Audio, huge shout out to them, sent me this hard drive when they sent me the software to Heat Up 3. So that's 300 gigabytes of Heat Up 3 goodness, meaning instruments and sounds galore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And peeps, I'm going to do videos on those expansion packs of Heat Up 3 very, very soon. So if you're into music and music production or stuff like that, you're going to love those videos. And I got those coming up soon. Now, as far as my folders up under here, I got my folders pretty much complimentary to the apps. Like this first one right here, the Ableton Live Sessions. Self-explanatory. Those are session files for my Ableton Live 10. So every time I do a beat or anything from Ableton Live, it goes right there to that folder. Then right up under that where it says beat tags are collections of different beat tags I have because to me, certain beats need certain kind of beat tags with them. You can't use the same beat tag for all beats. It just doesn't sound right. Then right up under that, I got my beat folder with all my beats in there. Then up under there, I got the books that I read. Both PDF and eBooks are on deck right there. Then up under the books folder, we got something called the Let's Effects folder. Well, since I edit all my videos with Final Cut Pro 10, man, certain scenes call for different color grades of certain LUTs. LUTs changes the color and whole feels of the way a scene looks. So sometimes I might use a more heavy scene that makes the colors pop harder, but then again, I might use something more subtle just for the feel of the scene. So a lot of times I'm using a LUT. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now in the next column right here, the first folder is my OBS folder. And right here, I got a lot of OBS pics and OBS videos and everything that I use in OBS. And right about now, I'm using OBS to film this part of the review. Now my next folder is the Photoshop templates, no doubt about it. All of my thumbnails, I'm using Photoshop. So there's a template right there for my music channel. And there's a template to the left that says YouTube template for my tech channel. And right up under that Photoshop templates folder is the YouTube folder. Let me open that up. Right there, I got all the thumbnails and YouTube banners that I've done for myself and other content creators across YouTube. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, all right, everybody, let's go down to the dock so I can show y'all how I rock it. Man, my browser of choice is Google Chrome. Nothing against Safari at all. Safari is dope, but Google Chrome works for me better. I like it better. Then right next to that, I got the launch pad. Man, in the launch pad, I got access to a lot of apps that I don't use on a regular and day-to-day -day basis. But I got them for a reason, for emergency. So when that emergency comes or whatever, I just go to launch pad and I'll be right there at the app that I want to get at. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then right next to that is the Apple calendar, the stock calendar. You know, since I can know the date and everything, it's May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. You know what I'm saying? To all my Mexican subscribers and everything. Then right next to that, I got the Apple Notes. People, I love Apple Notes. I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's my holy grail. It's my ultimate reference. It is what it is. Man, because I got ideas in my head that flow every day. You ain't lying. 
and I just pull up my phone or hop on my computer and type away in Apple Notes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I got this right here. This go for Gmail because all of my email addresses are Gmail addresses. Yes, indeed. So why not get the client? I chose go for Gmail, had the highest rating and it's mad stable. Check it out. Then right next to that is the Telegram app because I'm in quite a few Telegram communities like that and I socialize with them guys. Mad cool people like Team 100 VIPs. Mad shout out to Team 100, you dig? Man oh man oh man. So if you got people or you like to rock with a content creator who's on Telegram, go ahead and download that to get Mac. Right next to that is the Messengers. Yes, this is the Messenger that links up to your phone from your iMessage app. No doubt about it. So all your text and everything are right there. All the functions and everything <laughs> that's on your iPhone is right on your desktop. Pretty damn lit, right? Then right next to that is the FaceTime app. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. For video calls and video conferences, man, highly, highly recommended. My favorite video chat app of all time. It is what it is. Then right next to that is the iTunes app. You know what that is, music store and all that. Then right next to that is the system preferences. For one, I, for one, I wanna go ahead and change the settings of the Mac if need be and tweak it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Then right next to that is the Final Cut Pro 10. I edit all my videos with this. This is what it is. So as far as the transitions, color grades, all that, ha, Final Cut Pro 10. Then right next to Final Cut Pro 10 is this right here. TubeBuddy for YouTube. Peeps, if you're a content creator and don't have TubeBuddy, you're really missing out. Man, just sign up. Even sign up for the free version, you know what I'm saying? This app right here, Helps you with tagging on your videos, keyword planning, title planning, everything. You can even edit thumbnails and everything with this app if you don't have Photoshop. This is very, very dope. And by the way, I'm a TubeBuddy affiliate. So just type in the code Tana Does Tech, and you get a whole lot of money off your subscription if you go for a paid subscription. So you probably ended up paying, what, four or five dollars for yours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right next to that, it's Microsoft Word, but when I want to go ahead and drop some documents or contracts and everything, man, that's the go-to. Microsoft Word is a legend in the game. Then right next to Microsoft Word is, of course, Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. I do a lot of my graphic art and everything on Adobe Photoshop. It is what it is. Very easy to use and very powerful. And next to the Photoshop app is this app right here. It's called Splice. Nah, this ain't the video editing app that you can get on iPhone or nothing like that. This is something totally different. All my producers and musicians, check this out. If you're looking for new sounds right here, you want to go ahead and register for Splice and everything. I mean, they have millions upon millions of sounds. Quality sounds, that is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, and on Splice, you can go ahead and buy instruments, sound packs and everything. And it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times... A lot of people can't afford VSTs outright and pay the full price. But on Splice.com, <laughs> they let you pay a monthly fee until you pay the balance off for the favorite VST of your choice. And look here, people. Man, these are just my recent sounds that I added and everything. But man, if I go ahead and press all downloads, you're going to see thousands and thousands of songs. At Splice.com, go ahead and make that happen. All right, let's get out of there. And right next to Splice is this right here. Nah, this ain't Instagram, it's Webcam Settings. It's an app I got from the App Store. Man, go ahead and give it a try. It's way better than the app that Logitech gives you with its webcam. Man, I could do a whole lot more things, like zoom in a whole lot closer, really get that shot, get the color saturation just the way I want it for my, web, for my webcam, rather, when I stream. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And right next to the Webcam Settings is this right here, OBS. Anytime that I live stream on YouTube, Facebook, anywhere, I'm using OBS. It's the holy grail of streaming, period. Man, oh man. Very versatile, professional looking, and easy to use. It's absolutely free. Just Google OBS in your Google search bar or whatever, or Google Streamlabs, which is the company that makes OBS to make it happen. And because of OBS, I can go ahead and show you my desktop right now, and I can do a quality voiceover with my quality mic and everything and make everything happen. So man, OBS is no joke. Go ahead and check it out ASAP. <laughs> right next to OBS is Ableton Lab 10. Yes, indeed, people, this is my digital audio workstation from when I make music and beats and everything. Yeah! 
peeps this right here is the best out there i didn't try them all i didn't try logic i didn't try reason i didn't try cubase and all that even fl studio but ableton live is the most easiest to use with the most features man oh man oh man yes sir yes sir but when it comes to editing vocals and everything even though i can record on ableton live 10 i'll go right here to pro tools first this is a free version of pro tools that came with my focus right it's indeed my audio interface that i bought and everything it might be free but it's 16 tracks of quality goodness to record on and i choose to edit my vocals on pro tools because it's way easier to edit there than it is on ableton lab 10. nothing against ableton lab 10 but pro tools been in the game since the mid 90s so they got this down packed yes sir yes sir and next to pro tools is AirDroid. since i don't film all my videos with my iPhone, sometimes I use Android phones. So the question was, how can I get all my files from my Android phone to my Mac? Well, through this free app right here called AirDroid. All you gotta do is go to the app store, download AirDroid, then go to your iPhone. What? Not your iPhone, your Android phone, and download AirDroid right there. And all you gotta do is open it up, select the file that you wanna send, and send it right to your Mac. It's just that easy. Woo! No question about it. And right next to AirDroid right here, ha, it's AirDrop. That right there is my favorite feature of Max. No question about it. File sharing personified. I have four producers in my camp and we can basically be in the same room on different computers working on the same beat and exchanging files and get it done quickly with AirDrop. Man, oh man, oh man. So if you're not using AirDrop, Google a tutorial on it and get it going. Trust me, you'll love it. Then right next to that, to me, this is the ultimate feature of OSX. It's called Time Machine. What this does is it saves all the apps and everything and programs and settings the way it looks on your Mac and backs it up onto a hard drive. So if your computer crash anything, you can go to that hard drive session and pull it right back up and it will have your programs and everything installed perfectly the way you had it before it crashed. You won't have to go back to the headache of finding all the apps that you used to have and installing them one by one. Now with Time Machine, it does it for you and it's free and it comes with your computer. No doubt about it. Okay, now you know exactly what's on my Mac. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you want to go ahead and support the channel and cop one of these Yes, Sir, Yes, Sir t-shirts, hey, the link is in the description and I really appreciate it. No question about it. Well, all right, everybody, that just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your guy a thumbs up because that's official. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner and join Team Lit, then do that too because I appreciate that too. All right, everybody, get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy.